You do believe that the Bush administration was behind that building coming down? It was never hit by a plane and it fell in seven seconds and it was 49 stories high. And they're telling us that fire can drop a skyscraper in seven seconds. Yes. Think of basic physics. Mm -hmm. That's as fast as the speed of gravity. No resistance. Where's the resistance? Well, why did it have to be the Bush administration? Jesse, because that's when it happened. But Jesse, let <laughs> me say this. In terms of... <laughs> no, but why did it have to be... Let me ask you. Jesse. <laughs> Thing. We sure. want to talk about physics too, and I understand, you know, we hear about steel burning and, and what degree it can burn at. There have been, I mean, engineer after engineer from the Institute of Studying, studying Steel who have said at 1100 degrees, okay, and, and fuel burns between 800 and 1500, so smack dab in the middle of there, at 1100 degrees, it's weakened by half. All right. If steel is, can bend, concrete around it will crack, will fall, at All right. great speed. Right. All right, why Stop. were things I mean, throwing, specialists. why were massive girders throwing 500 feet away and embedded in other buildings? Well, uh, it can melt. The, the jet fuel was gone on impact. Have you ever seen a drop of fuel there so after a plane hits? Okay. Boom, you saw the big explosion. Well, I'm, I'm there went all the jet the fuel. There was no more jet fuel. So you're saying carpet burning, Xerox stuff burning, drapery you burning. Said, you've seen the destruction down Can I, can I talk there? about the motivation? Because you also said, by the way, say it was not a plane that went into the Pentagon, it was a missile. Whatever one may feel about President Bush, the, uh, you say the reason that this was done was to protect oil interests or because the president wanted to, to, uh, to have the Iraq war. That, 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 that the government would deliberately kill 3,000 people to accuse the president of this because of his, he's protecting oil interests, Governor, uh, that's a terrible accusation to me. And it also well, paints him as a genius, which is against right. Joy's conspiracy that he's an idiot. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. First of all, I don't think I don't think he ran it. I think Cheney did because they had the president. All right, give me an example. The president's down in the schoolroom, down in. Cheney really wanted wait, to let wait, have the, the cause of death of three thousand people. Come on. Fifty-eight thousand of us were killed in Vietnam. Let's, let's stick to this story. I'm just giving you, Barbara, another example. You're asking for examples, right. and I'm giving them to you. But isn't it like and someone the, the dating an abuse? about this is that even if we get the answers, even if you're right, even if the other guys are right, those people aren't coming back. No, that's true. That's the biggest drag yeah, about all of but this. But the biggest drive is let's educate ourselves so well, it can't happen again. Why do you blame the media? You blame the media quite a bit also. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, the media, all right, let's go back to the, the assassinations of the important people of the 60s, which we cover. Everyone was killed by a lone nut. Yeah, that, that sounds a little Nobody fishy. Nobody else. They didn't talk to anyone. They didn't conspire with them. Right. And they were all failures at everything else in life. Right. But they were hugely well, successful. When you say, when you say at that. We, we need that's to get true. this out there so yeah, that we don't let it happen again. How do we know? I mean, we're, we're putting our trust well, in our elected officials. Okay. How do we know? We don't. Uh, trusting elected officials. <laughs> that's an oxymoron. <laughs> there exactly. you go. But how um, do you not let it happen I didn't again? want to write this book. When they approached me with it, I first said, no, I don't want to do it. But then I thought for about two weeks on it, and I felt I have to write this book. Because 100 years from now, I don't want people reading and think that we all believed. I want you? people to know that there was a minority opinion that didn't go along to get along. And always remember what Thomas Jefferson said, dissension's the greatest form of patriotism. Does it if you don't There's hold so people's iron feet to the fire elected officials, you'll get bad government. Well, if you hold their feet to the fire, you'll get better government. If you